On our flagship news now, a legal practitioner, Deji Awobide, says President Mohamed Buhari has a record of not obeying court judgment, and this is one of them. President himself said in his address this morning that the matter is so judicious, meaning that the matter is pending before a court of law. Despite acknowledging that the matter is so judicious, he still went ahead to do as he did this morning. And that for me is, is, is a clear case of content on the part of, of the government. Particularly when they, are, they have a council and a very respected advocate, Kali Abadi, acting for them there. Um, they, have been, they, have, they have been sued as a party in the proceedings. The issue that the court is being asked to address is the issue that affects the policy. It's from their own policy that the court has been invited to make, to, to make an opinion, rightly or wrongly about the, um, the, the the policy and the, the suspension of the old notes. So, um, in the normal society, when the court speaks, everybody listens. But of course, it appears to me that this government has always continued to show that this is our society under their own tenure is not a normal one. And uh, I, 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 honestly, I'm sure that when Nigeria can never see the back of this government coming to its name. He further says the newly introduced policy of Naira redesign is clearly not working and that it has brought untold hardship on Nigerians and that the president should revert to status quo. So the, the, the higher notes, 1,900 higher notes, are the ones that people have more than the children higher notes. Also, don't forget that the ATM are not configured for children higher notes. And of course, the bank will take a while to, for, to for configure the other ATMs to start dispensing children higher notes. So basically, they're only compounding the problem. They're not solving the problem, they're compounding it. And the people that will feel it are the average Nigerians. Everybody was taught that it was Governor Mefili who was uh, the, the brain behind all of this uh, uh, policy. But we can see that clearly is the voice of uh, 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 Jacob at the end of uh, Esau. Because you can see clearly that the president is the mastermind of all of this um, activity. Even though there are conspiracy theories about whether or not uh, the policy is aimed at ensuring that and politicians do not spend money on election day and all of those things. Any policy that is to be introduced must first take into account the realities of these people, the realities of the average Nigerian, the common man who needs to transact, who needs to do business on a daily basis, who does not have the luxury of having an account to be sad, bring money to their house. So you have the politicians who, 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 are, who, who this policy is aimed at. I mean, I, I, I did see uh, the CBN governor explaining the policy and its benefits. But of course, those that the policy is aimed at have the means of getting back this money. And they have the means of getting these new notes. I have not, I do not have more than 1,000 new notes in my wallet. I've not been able to access the new notes. I've been doing transfers, and my transfers have been angling. They've been failing, they've been angling. So, what exactly is uh, the, the objective for the common man? It's just created a lot more problem for the average Nigerian. And it's very important as well to us. Even though the, the idea, might be uh, uh, might be impressive on paper, but in reality, when you bring the policy up and you try to execute the policy, and you do find you find along the way that there are impediments to to actually actualizing the aims of the policy, you should revert back to status quo 